Good morning, um, Eight White here, aka Bill. Um, we're going to go for a little adventure in the woods today. Um, looking like a nice day. The sun is shining, blue sky mostly. Um, the noise you can hear is the river. Um, I'll just take you up there in a minute and give you a better look at that. Um, so yeah, it's part two really of Meet the Neighbours. So welcome and enjoy. Um, I'll be taking photos along the way. They'll be posted into the video as well. Um, should I get any photos and should I manage to edit the video successfully? Um, but yeah, another day in the woods, possibly a bit of time by the river. Targets for today, well, butterflies and dragonflies. It's going to be quite warm today and sunny. So hopefully um, we'll get some photos of those later. Right, I'm going to switch the camera around now, show you a little bit more of what I'm looking at. And I'll join you later. So I've come out of the um, building I live in, which is to my right here, out onto the river. It's an old mill, um, so it was obviously built right next to the river. Um, the old bridge there, somebody stands on there. I think there's going to be some trains on that railway line behind there. You can see across the viaduct. Um, we get a lot of train spotters and photographers lined up on that bridge some days. There's more than that there before, so I think there must be some special train with them. Uh, this is the River Irwell, who runs past where I live. Um, and in a minute, we're going to go into the woods. Um, but to get there, we're going to walk along this wall here. Um, but I'm not going to try and video myself while I'm doing that. So I will join you in the woods. So you can see here, I'm standing at the log pile. Um, just do a quick 360, get back to the log pile. So this is the log pile, you were seeing this the other day. Um, William the Wood Mouse's little hideaway is down there. I have put some seeds under the moss down there. I haven't seen them yet, I haven't been here long. Um, you've got a bit of woodland through there, it goes all the way back to where I live. It's not really a path through there, so I tend to stay away. There's all sorts of baby birds and eggs and all sorts of things. Um, some nice holly trees here, very important in the woodland like this to have these little trees that are kind of protection for the birds, places to nest but also places to dive into if a sparrowhawk fluff or something flies through here. Lovely hillside full of bluebells there at the moment. Um, Walter the Wren often sings up on those perches there. Um, yeah, this is the log pile. This is the 360 degree view today around the log pile as you can see. It's a nice place to spend some time. So I'm going to crack on taking some photos and see what we get. kind of light you've got in the woods um, at this time of the year, at this time of day, um, is great. You've got um, areas of kind of dappled shades, uh, branches and things suddenly come coming into light that weren't before. Um, and you get areas of kind of quite heavy shade where the end of a branch, maybe just the very end of it, might be picked up by the sun shining on it. And those are the little areas that I try to spot birds in because you can get some lovely photographs where there's a maybe heavy shade in the background but a very uh, nicely lit bird on the perch in front of that background. Um, lots of scope for photos like that. Um, I just got a photo of a cold tit, uh, Colin, um, on his own in this holly tree doing a bit of wing quivering which was quite nice to see. In fact, I'm looking at another one there. There's definitely a pair of these around and they're doing this kind of wing quiver thing, which is what they do. You'll see your baby birds do it when they're being fed, they kind of quiver with their wings with excitement. Well, the adults will do it as well at this time of the area, you know, if they're feeding each other part of that kind of courtship behaviour. So I did just get a photograph of um, Colin the Coulter doing a bit of wing quivering. Um, it looks OK on the back of the camera. If it's OK um, to post, I'll put it in this video. So yeah, try to find the staple shade because it, it, it just gives you great opportunities for photography. Another useful thing to practice is um, when you get to an area, when you're sitting somewhere like this, I'm watching three or four different places. It's not a very big area I'm looking at, but um, there's areas over on my right hand side here where birds might land. There's areas over on the left hand side where the birds like land and a bird could turn up on either one. So while there's no birds, just practice, just practice that movement. Practice getting from that perch quick to that perch quick and just practice that a few times. So at least, you know, it's muscle memory, you, at least your body gets to know what that movement's like. So if you're photographing a bird here and you, you see out of maybe you've got your left eye open as well and you see another bird turn up on the left hand side, your, your kind of body already knows how to make that movement and you'll get there faster, you'll get there more accurately, you won't miss as many shots. 
something to practice while you know there are no birds. Um, you know, they come in handy. Hi, um, just on my way down to the uh, river, and I thought I'd show you this little perch that I've got here. Um, it's a fallen tree. Um, I've been using this place for quite a while now. It's on the way to the log pile. I've taken a lot of photos at this location. Um, if you've been following my photos on Twitter, ain't right, underscore BL9, um, you'll have seen quite a few photographs taken at this location. I'm just going to turn the camera around um, and we'll see what it looks like from the other direction. So here it is. Uh, you can see I've put a pilot seed on there. It's just a fallen log. It used to be a bit sticking up at this end. Um, it fell off. I think it's down the bottom there somewhere. There used to be more to this end of the log than there is now. Um, there used to be more down at this end as well. I actually take my photographs uh, of birds on that um, perch there from down here. This used to be longer. Um, and it snapped one day when I was leaning on it. And me and a bit of the branch ended up at the bottom of the hill down there. Um, anyway, this is one of my favourite spots. I've just put some food out there now. Because I'm standing up, the birds probably aren't going to come to that just yet. So I'm going to set myself down and see if I can get any photos. All right. Um, popped home for an hour. Had a bit of a lunch, looked at some photos, uh, looked at some of these video clips I've been doing. Um, in January had a um, sit down, cup of coffee, bite to eat, and we're going to go back out now. I didn't get anything down at the river there. Um, quite disappointed really, because I used to see dippers there all the time, but nothing there today. I did get a picture of those ducks that I mentioned earlier. Um, oh, and a pair of glissanders. Oh, rookie mistake. I was checking the back of my phone, um, looking at the... Um, the duck photos that I've just taken um, and I kind of got a bit of absorbed in looking at the back of my camera and I looked up um, and these pair of gutanders were past me already I got a photo of the back of them but the back end of a duck's not the best thing to take a photograph of so uh, yeah that was a rookie mistake it just goes to show you need to concentrate things happen quite quickly um, so we're going to go back into the woods um, I said I'd go back there later when the sun had moved round I'm hoping as well, I've got no look taking butterfly photos today. Uh, it was just too hot and I think they were just too energised. So later in the afternoon now, I might get some of those as well on that blue belt field we were looking at earlier. So, okay, so we're at the um, other end of the day now. It's about four in the afternoon now. Uh, the lights changed, obviously. It lights quite a bit over that time. I'm back at the um, log pile. I was having a great deal of joy today, if I'm honest with you. Um, I've seen a few butterflies. Um, I expected to see a lot more, uh, both in numbers and in varieties. I've really, you know, maybe seen a few dozen, but now you're white and, and not landing anywhere. Um, well, at least not landing anywhere where I was, so a bit disappointing on the butterfly front. I did check out a local pond, one or two damselflies around, but no dragonflies yet. Um, and yeah, came back to the wood pile just to see if there's anything going on here. I'm starting to lose the light badly now though, so I'm going to call it a day there. Um, overall though, I think a good day. Um, excellent photo of a jay, one of the best I've taken of a jay. Um, ooh, call on the coulters. Um, some more robin feed and robin photos. I've got a few nice nuthatch photos. Um, I've got a great photo of a crane fly. I'll post that in the video. Um, yeah been an alright day. Um, need more butterflies tomorrow. Fingers are crossed. Bye bye for now.